I'm Valerie Getch from ValerieGetch.com. In this Lightroom tutorial, we'll talk about vignettes. Lots of photographers like to add a vignette to a, add a finishing touch to their images. A vignette is used to either darken or lighten the edges of your photo, and you can do it in several ways in Lightroom and create some nice effects and even use it to get rounded corners on your images. So let's get started. Hi, this is Valerie Getch from Valerie's Photo Channel. Before I get into the tutorial, I wanted to quickly tell you about my free Color Illustrated Guide to Digital Photography Basics. It will help you improve your digital photography skills and understand how to use your camera's manual settings. You can get it for free at my website, valeriegetch.com forward slash digital hyphen photography hyphen basics. Your first option for vignetting is to use the sliders in the lens correction panel under the manual tab. So we'll head there now. So right down here you see there are a couple of sliders for lens vignetting. And basically you would just adjust the slider to the left to darken the corners or to the right to lighten them. But the thing to keep in mind is that this tool only works on images that haven't been cropped and that's because the lens correction panel itself was created to get rid of the dark corners that some camera lenses create. So in this image I cropped one side so when I apply the lens correction vignetting you're really only seeing one in on one side so I'll, I'm gonna drag it all the way to the right because it, it's easier to see the difference. So you, it's pretty obvious here that it's much lighter on this side than it is on this side where I cropped. So in this case, when you have a cropped image, this tool isn't the best one to use um, on cropped images. So I'm going to just reset that. Um, there is another tool, and that's the post-crop vignetting tool. Surprise! So this tool will work on the edges of your photos, whether it's been cropped or not. And it's also a much more versatile tool, and you can get pretty creative with it as well. But before you head over there, um, go back to your basic and just make sure that you've enabled profile corrections and if necessary, remove chromatic aberration. Uh, and this will help ensure that it will fix any camera lens vignetting. And those are the dark areas that might appear in the corners from your camera lens. And that way you'll get a more even vignetting when using the post crop vignetting tool. So, um, head down to your effects panel and this is where you find the post crop vignetting. And again the simplest way to use it is to simply drag your slider to the left to darken the corners or the edges and um, drag it to the right to lighten them. And then you can get more creative by adjusting some of these other sliders. So if you adjust the midpoint to a lower number, it will apply whatever you have in the amount slider, it will apply that to um, more of your image, so a larger area. So can you see that the difference? Uh, maybe I need to, I'm going to darken, move the amount slider to make it more obvious. So you can see when I drag it to the right and I keep going, it's only applying it to the corners. So that's how you would get creative with the midpoint and, and how you wanted to use this tool. And then you can make your vignette more oval or circular by adjusting the roundness slider, which is the next one down. So the lower numbers make it more oval. And I'm gonna move this further up to make it more obvious. So if you move it to the left, it's more oval. If you move it to the right, it gets more circular. And then you can use the feathering to um, adjust the softness. So the more you make it go to the right, the softer it gets. And if you move it all the way to the left, the harder it gets. And I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you may. And actually, here is one reason why you might want to do it. If you want to give your image rounded corners, then put the feathering at zero. Um, Put the roundness at minus 100 and um, put your amount slider to, well, if you want it um, dark edges, put it to minus 100. If you want white edges, put it at plus 100. And then you can adjust your midpoint as you want, maybe 45, maybe, maybe about 30, depending on um, how rounded you want it or how oval, whatever kind of look you want it. So those are some of the creative things you can do. 
And then I wanted to point out that there is this little drop down. Now highlight priority is what I've been using and this, this is the style, but you have a couple of other options. Um, you can use color priority and color priority um, can be used. You can adjust the sliders to prevent color shifts in darker areas. So first I'm just going to reset these to the default and you reset them just by double clicking. Um, feathering, uh, the default is 50, roundness is zero, midpoint is 50, and that's kind of not a bad effect for some artsy look, right? And the amount, of course, would be zero. Um, so you can, like as I said, you can adjust the sliders to prevent color shift in darker areas. And we don't really have a lot of darker areas, but um, it should give you a smoother look. And then there is also another style option, and that is um, paint overlay. And the best way I can describe it, it's sort of like an overlay of black paint if you um, put your slider to the left and white paint if you move it to the right. It gives you more of an, like an overall lightness or darkness, but it's, um, it's, 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 it's a lot of times it's not a whole lot different than just using the highlight priority. Um, but the highlight priority is the default, and that's probably the one that you're going to use most often. So those are the basics of the post-crop vignetting. So go ahead and experiment and see what you like um, to do with your photos. But it is a nice way to kind of set them off and draw attention to your subject. So as you can see, the post-crop vignette tool is a nice way to focus your viewer's attention on the center of your image by darkening, or in some cases lightening, the edges all the way around. Lightroom has another tool that can be used to create a vignette, the radial filter, and it's great when you want to highlight something that's not in the center of your image. I created a tutorial for that and you can follow the link on the screen to view it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and if you did, I hope you'll hit the like button and subscribe to get more Lightroom tutorials. Thanks! Have you been trying to take portraits of your kids and they're just not coming out the way you want? Maybe the lighting just isn't quite right, or you're wondering how you get that cool background blur that you see in professional portraits? Well, I have a great course for you on family portrait photography. I'll show you how to choose the right lens, give you tips on natural lighting, what settings to use to get that pretty background blur, and I'll show you how to enhance your photos in post-production. Learn more at ValerieGetch.com forward slash portrait hyphen course. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Lightroom tutorial. Stay tuned for more tips and tutorials as we work our way through the Lightroom workflow, and be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of them. I also want to give you a copy of my free guide to Digital Photography Basics to help you improve your photography skills and understand your how to use your camera's manual settings. You can get it for free at my website, www.valeriegetch.com forward slash digital hyphen photography hyphen basics. Now go out with your camera and have fun and I'll see you back here soon.